So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to protect your server against griefers. So if you own a Minecraft SMP or survival server, whatever you want to call it, you've probably had to deal with griefers at least a few times. Players stealing items and destroying property from others. Now as a server owner, this can be extremely frustrating to deal with. Luckily, there are some good ways to completely prevent griefing on your Minecraft server. So today we will be going over how to prevent griefing, but also how to trace and fix it. Before we start this video, though it would mean a ton if you could leave a like and also subscribe to the channel most people watch my videos are actually not subscribed even though it only takes a single click two clicks if you also want to enable notifications and with that single click you would help me and the channel out big time and of course you can always unsubscribe in the future if you do change your mind of course i hope you won't but you know things happen and then without any further ado let's dive right into this So today we will be going over how to prevent, trace and fix griefing. Players stealing or destroying property of others. You know, if you have a faction server or anything like that, then you want people to blow up each other's stuff and you want them to steal items and do all that crazy stuff. But if you just want a regular, safe, nice environment, an SMP server where people are just nice to each other and you know, don't blow up everyone's house any chance they get, then you want to prevent people from actually griefing. Now the best plugin for that by far is grief prevention. So grief prevention is a plugin that allows players to claim a certain area on your server and in that area the player claiming it will be the only one able to build inside of there so i'm gonna get myself a golden shovel which is the basic selection item for this plugin and like you can see you may claim up to 132 more blocks so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna claim myself an area an area where i will be the only one who can build in so i'm gonna put a point here i'm just gonna right click with the shovel, there we go. Claim corner set. Now we're going to another place. I don't know if we're far away already. Because your claim needs to be bigger than I think 100 blocks. So let's see if this works. You don't have enough claim blocks. Okay then. Ah, uh, here then. It's too small. Ah, there we go. We had to look for a middle ground. But here we go. We claimed an area. Everything you see here between these golden blocks is now my area. I claimed it. I'm the owner of everything that's in between these gold blocks. And I will be the only one able to break and place blocks inside of this area. So if another player would join, they would just not be able to do anything here. They would just get a notification. This is not your property. You can break or place anything here. They also can't open chests. They can't open doors. They can do pretty much nothing in here, which is amazing. Now, let's say you want to play together with some friends. How do you do that? I mean, your friends will also not be able to do anything inside of your area. Well, that's the nice thing about grief prevention. You can easily add players. So if I go stand inside of my claim and then I just do slash trust like that then a space and then a username well in this case i'm just gonna trust myself because there's nobody else online but there we go grant that gets us our permission to build in this claim that's it you're done now your friend can now build inside of your claimed area now if you want to remove them again you wouldn't guess it. Untrust Cassasura. Revoked Cassasura's access to this claim. And you're done. So the amount of claim locks that people can claim is completely customizable inside of the config file. You can also make it so that people get more claim blocks by playing on your server for a longer period of time. So for example, you can set it so that every single hour, people will get 300 more claim blocks. And that can go up all the way to a maximum of, let's say, 10,000 claim blocks. It's fully customizable. You can do it however you want. But this is the best plugin to actually prevent griefing i mean this way people can decide for themselves like do i want this structure this build whatever i'm doing now do i want this to be protected from others on the server if they do they can just put a grief prevention region there and then only them and their friends will be able to break and place blocks inside of that area. Now I do have a tutorial on my channel where I go way more in depth on what exactly you can do with grief prevention. So if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to exactly set up grief prevention on your Minecraft server, a link will be in the top right corner of the screen right now. I would highly suggest checking it out. Now let's say you did all you could. You gave players the tools to claim their own area inside of the server where they will be the only ones who can actually build it but still some griefing happened now this can be because they just didn't claim it correctly it can be that somebody else found a glitch how they could still destroy something inside of an already claimed area i mean it can always happen and if it happens that really really sucks so what if the griefing did already happen what do you do then well then you want to make sure you have a plugin called core protect installed on your server so core protect is a plugin that locks everything that happens if somebody breaks a block if somebody places a block, 
If somebody opens a door, if somebody grabs something from a chest, Core Protect will lock it all. Now what's the nice thing about logging? If you lock something, you can check it back. So we're gonna grab a chest and we're gonna grab a netherite chest plate. We're also gonna grab an apple. Then we're gonna place down this chest. There we go. Then we're gonna put the netherite chest plate inside, just like that. And we're gonna place the apple inside. Okay, now I'm going in the chest again and I'm gonna remove the apple again. Okay, so what did I do now? I placed the chest, I put two items in and I removed one again. Now, Kasasora, why does that freaking matter? I don't care. Well, every single action I just did, I can look back on it. So by typing slash co inspect and then clicking on the block you want the information about you will see exactly who placed this chest so in this case about two minutes ago i placed this chest so kasasora the player name placed an item the item is called chest and he did so one and a half minutes ago and these are the exact coordinates where I placed the chest on. Now, if I right click on the chest, except for left clicking, you will see all the other information. So over here, Kasasora added a netherite chest plate to the chest. Then I also added an apple. And like you saw just about 20 seconds later, 15 seconds later, something like that, I removed an apple again. So everything I just did, placing the chest, putting stuff inside of the chest, removing something from the chest again. We can all see that here. It's all locked. Now I have to say the plugin is not perfect. Sometimes it can still be quite a search. So for example, I placed a TNT block here and I blew it up. Because of that, some blocks here around this ring have been destroyed. Now if I would do co-protect, then grab a block and right click so I would place the block. Then you will see information. But the only thing the information says is TNT broke. Deep Slate. You can't see who did it, you will just see TNT. Let's actually see who blew up the TNT. You will have to look for the block where the person placed the TNT. So everywhere over here, it will just say TNT broke Deep Slate. No more information. But as soon as I click up here, you will see Kasasura placed TNT. Now that can be a little bit of a struggle. Like I know that I placed a TNT here, but for somebody that doesn't know, it can be quite a search. Though most of the time somebody blows something up, they will also just, you know, place a block or they will steal something from your chest or whatsoever and then you will already have a name like everything they do from opening a door to grabbing something from a chest to placing a random block to stack up somewhere it doesn't matter you will be able to track that i think the tnt is the only big downside if somebody blows up tnt you will actually have to look for the block where the tnt was placed on and that can be a little bit of a struggle because that block is probably destroyed i mean the information is still there but you know if i would remove this block so let's say i would do go inspect again and i would remove this block and then go inspect again then i could just do this but it wouldn't give any information. Like it would give information that I broke the deep slate, but it wouldn't give any information about the TNT. For that, I first have to do co-inspect again, place a block, co-inspect again, and then I will get TNT information again. Because this is the exact block where I placed it on. It was over here. So that is, I think, the big downside. Though, if there's a real griever on your server that's stealing stuff, destroying people's property, then I think you will find out quick enough with this plugin. So the last thing I want to talk about is how to fix grieving. So the grief prevention didn't work work people were still able to grieve after that you found out who did it and you banned them probably but still you know the structure is broken the griever did its job and you want to fix that so how do we do that well in this case this was just a nice and plain landscape but somebody placed tons of deep slate here and they destroyed some of the dirt it's ruining my day i can't live with this so we have to roll this back now to do that we're just gonna stand here in the middle of the mess and we're gonna type slash co and then we're gonna do rollback so co rollback and then we're gonna give it a radius uh and the radius is gonna be let's say nine for example just a radius of nine so a radius of nine blocks around me will be rollbacked and then we're gonna click on time so how far do we want to roll it back? Well, this has happened less than five minutes ago. So to be sure, I'm gonna say 10 minutes. So in a radius nine blocks around me, everything will be turned back to how it was 10 minutes ago. And we press enter and it's fixed. It's as easy as that. The rollback feature is extremely handy. So let's say somebody has destroyed somebody else's house. They like demolished the wall. They stole all the good loot. Killed all the mobs. I mean, they spared nothing. They completely freaked up somebody's home. Now first, you ban the player that did that. Because you don't want somebody like that on your server. And second of all, you use the rollback feature. Do a rollback for a specific radius. And for a specific time. And then all the mobs will be back. The 
items will be back in the chest and also the structure will stand again. You can completely fix what the griever did. And that is absolutely amazing. So if you own a Minecraft Survival or SMP server, you want these plugins on your server, period. They are amazing, they are fantastic. Use grief prevention to actually prevent griefing on your server, but if it does still happen, Core Protect will help you out with the inspect and the rollback feature, so you can trace who did it and roll back to how it was before it got actually griefed. And then guys, that is gonna be it for now. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you learned something today. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you do enjoy the content, don't be scared to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. You would really, really, really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And it only takes a quick second of your day. It's just, it's just a single click. And with that single click, you would make me, this happy small YouTuber, extremely happy. And then guys, that's gonna be it for now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.